Hi everyone. Nowadays in OIT speaking subtest, they are asking a totally different kind of role play, where we don't need to have a proper introduction as usual. And we came to know that our candidates are having a bit confusion regarding how to begin these kinds of role play. So today we are going to have a demonstration regarding the same kind of role play. And the setting says it's a community health center, and as per the scenario, a 66-year-old patient is concerned about the varicose vein on his or her left leg, and he is having increased itching as well. So the patient would like to get some advices from the respective medical professional, and we have just examined his leg as well. And here, this is Aishwarya from Tijus Academy, and I'll be enacting the role of a nurse, and with me. Gauri from Jiju's Academy, and I'll be taking the role of the patient. So, unlike our regular role play cards, we won't be starting with a general introduction, but we will dive right into our tasks. So, since it's a non-case, we are supposed to ask the name of the interlocutor during the time of preparation. So, how can I address you during the time of role play? You can call me Gauri. Now, let's begin our role play. All right, Gauri. First of all, thank you for allowing me to do your examination. And as per the examination, you are having inflammation on varicose vein. So, for the better understanding of the scenario, I would like to ask you some more questions regarding your medical condition. So, may I? Yes, please. Thank you, Gauri. Could you please tell me about your general health then? Uh, actually, I'm generally well and I don't have any underlying medical conditions. I'm really glad to hear that. But on that note, I would like to know about the onset of this particular medical condition and the intensity of your itching as well. Sure. Actually, the itching started a few months ago. Uh, so in the last couple of weeks, uh, some of the veins have gone itchier and even when I am scratching, it become red and, you know, even scabs are forming. I'm so sorry to hear that, Gauri. Have you noticed any swelling on that particular side and how does it feel? Uh, actually, I have a bit of swelling, but uh, it doesn't feel any hot or anything. All right. So thank you so much, Gauri, for sharing all the details regarding your personal medical condition. On that note, all the information that I have collected from you, right now you're having the condition that is venous status dermatitis. But I would like to tell you, please don't get panicked by listening to the name of the condition. I will explain you everything in detail. Is that okay for you? Yes, it sounds great. Okay, so as per the condition, it is a chronic inflammatory skin disease. So you already told me you're having varicose vein. And because of that condition, your blood vessels are quite damaged. Mm -hmm. And the blood is oozing out of the vein into the tissues. And that is causing you itching right now. Okay. I hope you understood so far. Yes, I did. So, I just want to ask you, have you tried any remedies for the condition? Uh, no, nurse, I haven't tried any remedies so far, but occasionally I have tried some moisturizers, but it didn't seem to help me. Alright, you don't need to worry. For your condition, I would like to strongly recommend you to use these moisturizers mm -hmm. at least twice a day in order to ease your itching. Okay. And along with that, we would suggest you to go for some medicated emoluments without any fragrance or dye. In addition, you can go for compression stockings as well. So would you mind trying the above mentioned recommendations, Gauri? Yes, nurse, I'll definitely try those, but it is very hard for me to stop scratching because it is very itchy. I'm so sorry to hear that, Gauri, but you don't need to worry. I can assure you that we will be there by your side to overcome the situation. So I strongly emphasize on the importance of not scratching the particular area because it may worsen your itching and it may lead to cut or infections. On that note, I would like to suggest you that seek medical attention immediately if you find it worsen. I hope you understood so far. Yes, I did. I hope you understood so far, Gauri. Yes, I did. All right, on that note, in order to improve your current medical condition, mm -hmm. that is venous status dermatitis, mm -hmm. it is very much important for you to manage your varicose vein as well. I hope you can follow my suggestions that I'm going to mention right now. Yes, I'll be able to follow that. All right, thank you so much for that. On that note, I would advise you to keep yourself active every time. And when you choose your clothing, make it loose rather than keeping it tight. Along with that, avoid standing or sitting for a very long period of time. And always keep your legs elevated when you're sitting. I hope you can follow these suggestions. Yes, I'll be able to do that. All right, Gauri. I hope I have made myself clear to you so far. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. So please don't hesitate to approach us in future for any kind of assistance. Wish you very good luck and wish you a very speedy recovery as well. 
Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you, Nurse. Thank you.